Welcome to tutorial number 6 of the computer-aided railway modeler called SCARM. In the previous tutorials we have seen how user-friendly the interface of SCARM is and how quickly we can create layouts. So I thought the moment has come to give ourselves a little bit more of a challenge and we are going to try build a rather complex layout in just a few minutes. As an example, I think it's a nice idea to build, to recreate the logo over here. A sort of a station with a lot of tracks and turnouts. Uh, well, let's have a closer look what we see over here. It's a turnout up, followed by two turnouts. Then on track number two we have a turnout, a crossing and another turnout. And here we go to the main track, yes, that we can remember. Let's open up the program. And for this tutorial we will select the Marklin C track. So if you don't have that open, click left click this little uh, arrow and search in the list for the HO Marklin C track system. Okay, what we need is a start point, so I click this red arrow and I left click on my layout. There is our start point. The first thing that I would like to add is the turnout upwards, which is over here. I connect it to the first point and then on this curve I want to have two of these turnouts. One and two. Then we learned in tutorial 3 that the counter curve of a turnout was the number 224 over here, clockwise, and now we are four times on a parallel track. Also in tutorial number 3 we learned that the straight to cover this length of a turnout was the 172. So I think it's best to try a few 172's, and uh, that is this one click and then one two three over here I add a few of those over here a few and over here one okay let's make the turnout upwards over here the turnout is here and I have to connect it here and now we are going to look for that crossing with turnouts that has to be connected here and just down the list at the bottom we see that turnout and we have to connect it such that we have a nice parallel track here. Okay, I would not be surprised if this is a 172 over here again. Yes it is. Over here I need another turnout and that is I think this one but now connected to the curved end, yes. And let's see if a couple of 172's will close that gap. Yes, it does. Okay, mm, then maybe over here. This length is a 188 and this length is also a 188, I think. But I'm not quite sure, but let's just try that out. No, that is a little bit too much, too long. So this again should probably be a 172 again and uh, then we can here go down to create this turnout to the main track again. Uh, 224 we need for that. Where is that 224? Uh, I always lose it. Yes, it's here. I need it clockwise. Then we connect our turnout that is this one connected to the curved side and it snaps to place. Okay, another 172 over here that will make this nice and straight. Then just two tracks to make a little bit of length but we don't use that anymore. Uh, so space, space. Okay, let's go around the corner. We will use the 130 for that clockwise click the spacebar a few times. Now, okay, what we can do to make this really complex station again is just select it, select the whole thing. Now hit Ctrl C to copy it. Yes, 
and control C to paste it. Uh, control V, I mean. And I can now hit control, keep it pressed, left click and move it and move it over here till it snaps. I hit slash so I have my whole track in view. Pen a little bit and we can now close this gap with the 130 and we need that clockwise tuck, 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 and the loop is closed. I was trying to make it a little bit more interesting uh, to by having a double track over here. I would not be surprised if that would be called the 230. So just to make a connection let's delete this uh, turnout and uh, I selected it by left clicking and I hit the delete key and we will insert now a crossing turnout and I first have to select the start point and then the turnout over here and that's perfectly okay. Hit slash again uh, move to the left a bit and over here we are going to take away one rail and we are going to insert a turnout this one connected to the curved side and here we need a little straight uh, 172 probably again yes that is nicely uh, parallel and now I can start to add a few 230 rails clockwise I hit the space ok to close the gap uh, 172 again and I think right now the slash key to zoom to fill and I think we have within four minutes a very nice perfect and rather complex layout this is really as simple as it can get with SCARM see you later in tutorial number seven where we are going to talk about flexible rail